everybody, it's me, Vic. So today I'm going to talk about configuring Wavelink 2.0 for the first time use with OBS if you like to separate your audio. Now I do have a previous video out there, but this is going to be an updated version along with including Elgato's Stream Deck. Now when I say Stream Deck, I am using my Stream Deck Plus, so please keep that in mind, but I am going to show you how to change the volume in OBS with separated audio from Wavelink 2.0. So let's get started here. Now, I already have a video out there that shows you how to route these things directly in Wavelink 2.0. It's very simple. You just click on whatever you need to, whatever channel, whether it's voice chat for Discord, a game for game, if you're setting up voice mod or some kind of sound effects under effects, your system audio that you prefer to just go to system, your browsers, and of course your music. All right, so that being said, we already have Wavelink configured, so we don't really need to touch anything in here. But in OBS, we want to make sure that we're going to route our audio in OBS. So first things first under sources. I'm only starting with sources. I'm not doing anything different. Um, what we're going to do is go to audio input. Audio input capture, I'm going to name this mic effects. That is my microphone effects. You can name it Wavelink Microphone Effects if you prefer to be technical, but this is my microphone effects. So I'm going to go to my device here, and I'm actually going to look for where it says Wavelink Microphone Effects and select OK. That way my mic is right there. Now I'm going to lock that in place because I'm, I don't intend to move any of my audio sources. But for separate audio from Wavelink, you're going to actually go to Audio Output Capture, and I am going to name this one system not that i have my systems coming through but in the event that i route my alerts to system i may want that there granted in my personal use i don't do that but i am just doing this for the video's sake so i have a wave xlr dock connected to my stream deck plus it's a combo so i'm going to choose system elgato xlr dock it is the same thing all right now one thing I want to make sure is that my volume is never higher than my microphone. So you can always go to audio advanced properties. And if you're more into the percentage, you can do volume by percentage. So what I'm going to do is put my system at 35 because I don't really need it loud, right? All right. So the next one I'm going to add is another audio output source. And let's look at Wavelink. All right. So voice chat, right? So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to call this one voice chat. And we're going to look for where it says voice chat, which is right here. That way, if I ever wanted to bring my Discord party on, I can. And what I would say is I'll probably leave this at the same audio as mine because these are microphones that are coming through. All right. So I'm going to lock that in place as well. And the next one is going to be browser. So if I wanted my browser audio source to come through, I'm going to look for browser and I'm going to route that. Now I don't want my browser to be super loud, so I'm going to go to advanced audio properties and I'm probably going to bring that down to 45%. You wanted to know the decibel, it tells you the decibel if you uncheck it. All right, let's see what's next. We got game. That's very important if you're playing a PC game, right? So we're going to go to audio output, label this game. And we're going to look for where it says game right here. Now my game, I don't like super loud either because I want my people to hear me and not just the game. So I might reduce this down to maybe 50%, right? Now I have my audio set up a certain way. But say that your chat is telling you, hey, it's too loud. We're going to get there. Let's finish setting up our separated audio sources first, though. All right. So the next one, let's see what is on here. Again, it is the beta. So you're going to experience some of these things that you see on screen real time. So SFX. OK. Let's go ahead and add that. We're gonna lock that in place. Now I'll show you how to do the slider here in a minute um, with SFX. Like I'm not gonna touch some of these things mainly because I'm gonna show you in uh, Stream Deck how to do that. All right. And I wanna be very clear. You cannot control Wavelink audio 
from OBS. You can control Wavelink audio with the Elgato Wavelink plugin, and you can control OBS audio with the OBS plugin. OBS has its own plugin that you can use to change the volume sliders. Again, I'm going to show you how to do that. But I think we need to add one more, which is music. And we're looking for music XLR dock for those who have a Stream Deck uh, Plus combo like myself. All right, so we've got all of our audio sources set up and configured right here. Now, one thing I do want to mention for those who are streaming, we're going to go to file. No, we're going to go to settings. Sorry. So audio streaming, I am not connecting my Twitch, but we're going to go to output. We're going to go to advanced and I want you to pay attention to something for those who like to route music. Do you see where it says Twitch VOD track two? All right. So this is what's basically saving to your VOD. Number one is always going to be live three, four, five, and six. You can set those up individually to have whatever set up there. But if you are going to stream to Twitch, you want to do this right here where it says Twitch VOD track number two. We're going to click on apply and OK. Now, if you go into your advanced audio properties for music and music alone, you are going to leave one selected and unchecked two, three, four, five and six because you do not want to get hit with a copyright strike. And then that's just going to be something that you want to be mindful of. Live stream is always going to be one. Everything else is saved to a VOD. So this saves to your Twitch VOD, all this right here. But you don't want your music to save to a Twitch VOD. You're fine with it if it's live, but if you're doing it to your VOD, you want to make sure that your music, just your music, is set up this way. All right, so now we've got OBS configured with our audio sources. Now we're going to open up Stream Deck. And yes, I was busy in DaVinci. As a matter of fact, let's do a new profile. Add a new profile. We're going to rename this. And I am going to call this test because that's what I do every time I do something for you all on the video to make it a lot easier for you. All right, so now I'm going to drop down all the way to test. Now, the beautiful thing about a Stream Deck Plus, which I'm going to tell you, if you are using a Stream Deck Plus, you want to follow this to a T. You're going to want to make sure that you have the OBS Studio plugin. If you do not, you can click on this icon right here and it will take you to this nice little Elgato store marketplace. And what we're going to do is type in OBS. And do you see where it says OBS Studio by Elgato Free? I'm going to copy this link because I'm going to put it in my video later. All right, you're going to want to click on Get. Obviously, you got to be signed in. You have to have an account with them, sign in, and you're going to download this. Now, I know you saw another OBS plugin. This is made by Bar Raider. Here's Multi OBS Controller, and uh, this is by the CA11, and then OBS Bot Webcam. You're only going to need this one. If you want to do some more extreme stuff, then you might want to also download this one. But this is the only one that's going to control the audio mixer. So that being said, let's get into Stream Deck. So if you have a Stream Deck Plus, the dial feature right here after you install the plugin, it's as simple as drag and drop, right? So I'm going to go to, for example, music. And I want you to see this real time. I am turning my dial, it's telling you the decibel. And if you look at the music channel here, like I'll move my mouse right here so you see what I'm talking about. But if you turn the slider with the OBS plugin, you can change the slider effect of what you're trying to lower and keep high. Uh, it's the same thing on another dial. Let's just say my browser is too loud. So then I can change the browser dial here too. And the reason why I'm doing the Stream Deck right next to this is so you can see how simple it is. Now, I'm going to click on dials, right? Because there's a lot of dials features here. So yes, OBS is one of them that we're using. But I want you to check on something else. Do you see dial stack? Say you're kind of wanting to put all of this in one particular dial, right? Because maybe you want to control this with one and you want to control the other with Wavelink directly. Again, 
this does not control wavelength okay see how the wavelength is still set up the way that i had it configured that is an entirely different plugin and that does not change the volume in obs the only one that changes the volume in obs again is this so let's go ahead and do browser now if you're like me and you just want to do it fast you just copy paste right and you just stack them although i probably won't want to leave my microphone in there so let's delete the mic all right let's choose music sfx system and that's it because i'm not changing the voice chat either right so say you don't want to do them individually and you'd rather stack them well you can push and now you can change your game audio you can push and you can change your music you can push and change your sound effects you can push and change your system and push and change your browser again so it's a cycle right but say you are, it's only like maybe one or two things you're really changing so like for example me on the regular I'm changing my gaming all the time. Um, and that's primarily what I do. Um, I don't really have system uh, or music, but say most people who like to game also like to have their music there. So music is probably another popular one that you would control independently, right? Unless like you're one of those who does things where you're looking at certain videos and you have reactions or something then i could see the browser being that one right but again i stacked it so it really depends on what you're moving right now that's the easy way to do it i know i have an older video and that video is going to probably go to the archives but this video is to show you how to configure it with an OBS plugin controlling the OBS audio with Wavelink 2.0. Now we're gonna talk about controlling Wavelink because that is something I did not cover in my previous video. So that's what we're gonna do now. And I am going to open another page specifically just for Wavelink. Now for Wavelink, again, we're gonna go to the Elgato marketplace, right? Sorry, y'all. I know it looks a little funny, but I'm getting there. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to type in Wavelink because you do need the plugin. Currently, the plugin is available for the beta on their Reddit, but this is what you would get and download so you can control Wavelink for your personal hearing. Okay, not for your streams hearing, but for your personal hearing. Now, again, we're going to control Wavelink audio with the Wavelink plugin. So to do that, we're going to look for the Wavelink plugin right here. Now there is one that says control your device or switch between audio outputs, right? But here is an input. So the input is more than likely going to be whatever you're selecting. Now for me, personal use is monitor mix. For your stream mix, it would be what your viewers are hearing. I never touch stream mix. I always leave it at 100% because I'm controlling the audio in here not in here so i leave stream mix alone altogether. i don't even touch it all right but let's just say i want to go ahead and mute my microphone right so if i if i didn't want to hear my microphone as you can see i'm lowering and if you're not seeing it's right here the headphone is for your use this is the stream use. So say I didn't want my stream to hear my microphone, right? It's obviously going to close out my microphone here. We don't want that. We want to leave this one alone. This is why I said, don't worry about your streams. Now, if you don't ever want to have your stream hear your music, for example, then mute the music stream. You can do that. That will actually mute the music. Um, say you didn't want them to hear your browser or your system, then you would mute those as well. Me personally, I leave those all the way up. Again, I control it independently through OBS because if you go back, right, to the first page we created with the OBS plugins, the beautiful thing about this is if I wanted to mute my game, all I have to do is push that dial and it mutes that source for me. Again, that is an OBS source, not a Wavelink source, okay? Now let's go back to the Wavelink profile I'm creating for you all. So that way you can see how to control for your hearing Wavelink. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and do another one. And this time we're going to choose game. This is for your, your use, right? So it's going to control this channel right here. And you would just turn that dial up or down to control what you're hearing on how loud the game is or how low the game is. Say you wanted to go ahead and, you know, control voice chat while you're at it because your buddies are getting a little too loud, right? And as you see, I just leave it as monitor mix. I don't change anything else here except for my input. All right. So if you look, I'm like, ah, oh, you know what? My buddies are kind of loud. I'm going to put them probably at like 50% or something, right? Because they're kind of like hurting my ears. It's, it's not true. My buddies never hurt my ears when I'm actually doing this. I actually have them pretty loud so I can hear what they're saying and be part of that. I'd rather be part of the chat than hear their game. <laughs> but that's me. I like interacting with my friends. Um, and if I wanted to stack them, right? Again, you can actually do that. So here is dial stacks. And then we would just go here and do our input. So let's just say we wanted to cycle through game. We wanted to cycle through music. We wanted to cycle through, I keep choosing the wrong option, um, sound effects and system. I don't know if I did browser, but we might as well just do browser too, right? All right, cool. So say I independently control the game and the voice chat and my mic, but like everything else, I kind of want to control individually. So luckily I don't use anything more than eight channels. So you can see everything on my screen, but say I just wanted to control my music and then I'm like, oh, you know what? I want to control my sound effects. I could do that. Again, I am only controlling it from my hearing because if you notice, it's just this particular option that is moving, not the stream. I don't know why I did that, but um, let's, let's fix that. Make sure all my streams are at 100%. Okay, good. Good, good. But you get the idea, right? That you can control audio for your personal hearing as opposed to them hearing what you're controlling and then if i wanted to swipe left i can control what people are hearing in obs with the obs plugin so keep in mind again there are two different plugins controlling two entirely different softwares the wavelink plugin is only going to control wavelength wavelength does not control obs audio the OBS plugin is only going to control OBS audio. So please keep that in mind. I hope this has been a really fresh revamp on how to configure your audio with Wavelink 2.0 um, and Wavelink in general, and also has given clarity about how these things work. Now, there are a couple of features that I am going to mention, which is route to microphone effects. If you are using voice mod, and that is your only microphone that you prefer, which is this one right here, and you're not using this one, then you don't need to route to microphone effects because you could actually just route it to SFX. And your microphone, you can actually change those things directly with voice mod, right? You can configure your stream deck in the way that you want, so you can change those things at the turn of a dial or a push of a button. But me personally, I'm not really using voice mod. I only had it here when I was creating a video to make it simple with Wavelink 2.0. Um, there is a video out there. Oh, I should probably put meld studio under system. So there, anytime that I'm hearing anything relaying in meld, I'll be able to hear it coming through my system as opposed to any other channel. And then game on Wavelink 2.0, low latency mode. If you are listening in the our dock then you're going to want to make sure that if you're playing an fps game if you're doing a dual pc setup and you're wanting to make sure you have low latency if the game is going through the game channel you want to make sure that low latency mode is on other than that that is wavelink 2.0 configured with obs 
as well as Stream Deck Plus. Thank you for watching, everybody.